people ask me all the time why they can't finish a shot and why they can't perform in a tournament like they do in practice and why they hesitate to level change or like why they hesitate after a setup. I think the most obvious answer is you're lacking confidence, all right? And there's two parts to building confidence, okay? There's two parts. There's your preparation and there's actually using it. There's like actually wielding your confidence in like when shit hits the fan, when it's go time. Your confidence is basically your belief in yourself in your training, right? Your belief in your ability to perform what you train. This is the biggest reason why kids can't finish a shot, why kids get stuck after the setup, why they get stuck in certain positions, because they don't believe in their training. In my opinion, the best kind of training is repetitive drilling and just ingraining that those movements, uh, those muscle movements into your brain. With that, then when you see a scenario open up, when you see a scenario you're familiar with, you're able just to do it. You can just do it, all right? And now there's two parts to confidence. There is the actual building your confidence and then there's using it when it's go time, okay? The building of your confidence is done in practice when you're learning, you have to have the mentality of a beginner, all right? Every single time your coach explains something, you have to watch him, you have to try and take as much as you can from him teaching you. And now this means when you go to do it after he explains it to you for technique, then you have to, uh, you have to do it slowly, perfectly. You have to be able to do it slowly, perfectly, all right? And then when you start drilling it on the whistle, then you have to start speeding it up, all right? Once you've gotten to drilling it on the whistle, that means you've already done it enough to where your coach thinks you're familiar enough to do it to hit it in a match. Now you just have to perfect that. You have to speed up the process of you setting up, level changing, shooting, and taking him to the ground. Or whatever scenario it is. Uh, stuffing the head and putting a half, or putting in a turk, or whatever it is. You always look at it like you're a beginner. You practice for perfection. You practice to do it perfectly. You practice to make the muscles that do that stronger. Push your ability, like do everything. That means push your ability to snap, to level change, to shoot, to turn the corner. You have to be constantly pushing it so you constantly adapt and improve. Now in practice, you have to be a beginner, but in tournaments, you have to think you are the shit. You have to believe that you are an expert, regardless of whether or not you are. Okay, you have to believe in your training, you have to believe in your coaches, you have to believe that you know what to do, okay? You have to believe that when you see an opening, that it is an opening and you have to take it with zero hesitation. You lose the shot, right? Your shot gets stuffed because you think in your head, like if you think in your head for half a second that I might get stuffed in this shot, then you are going to get stuffed because that half a second is all your opponent needs to think and to work against you, okay? You need to make the things happen that you want to happen as quickly as possible. This goes with everything else you do in life, all right? When you're learning something, you have to be an open book. You have to be willing to do anything and everything. You have to be willing to tweak everything and everything, try what works, find out what doesn't, right? And do it over and over and over and over and over again until you're amazing at it. But when it comes time to actually, when it comes go time, you need to perform. You need to do it the absolute best you can. You have to do it like you trained. You have to do it like you believe you know how to do it. And this doesn't come with shitty training. This doesn't come with shitty drilling, with shitty partners. You need to be giving resistance. You need to be like doing the things winners do. But if you do all those things, if you do everything right, and in the match, you don't you for one second think that you're not gonna make it, you won't. Okay, that's the whole point. That's the whole point of this video. If you think for a second that it won't happen, then it won't. You have to be confident, no hesitation. If you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.